Chapter 22, Plan for Problems. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Here are two examples of this kind of thinking. I was hosting a dinner and awards night organized by an insurance company. The talented Shabu Crew band was backing High Life Maestro Amachi Dede. Guests had packed the dance floor and energy levels were sky high. Suddenly, I noticed that the drummer was no longer pounding out the beat with his kick drum. His pedal had snapped. Something that often happens to drummers who play too vigorously. I watched to see what would happen. Literally, without missing a beat, one of the singers simply connected an electric drum kit and proceeded to fill in the missing beats by hitting the electric drum with a stick. Nobody on the dance floor had the slightest inkling of what had just transpired. I smiled. That's so professional, I said to myself. They had anticipated the problem and were prepared to deal with it when it occurred. On another occasion, I had the privilege of moderating a colloquium at the Springboard Road Show in Accra. Three speakers were billed to make presentations. I had successfully introduced the first two by reading their profiles from a sheet, and it was time to introduce the last speaker and begin the discussion. That is when I knew I had a problem. My paper with the speaker's information was nowhere to be found. Immediately, I launched into an improvised speech while my fingers slid across my iPad, hunting frantically for the backup soft copy. Relief. Document found. Problem solved. It doesn't matter whether you're a singer or a speaker. No matter what you do, and no matter how hopeful you are about the outcome, prepare for problems. Trust in God, but lock your car.